Live, live, live. We're on. How's it going, you guys? I'm back. It's Bruce here, traveling with Bruce. Welcome to Thursday night prime time trivia. Are you ready? No cheating tonight. No googling. None of that stuff. Uh, we have some skill testers for you today. We should have some fun. Cheers, everybody. Uh, welcome back to my eight o'clock show. I think we had a pretty good show today at five. That was a lot of fun. Uh, covered a lot of topics, and uh, I think that went very nicely. Um, notice a bunch of you guys are already talking to each other uh, well before the show even starts, which is fantastic. You see the viewers coming in right now. You're starting to load in here. Uh, got three watching and uh, more behind it. There's now six, and it's kicking up here uh, nicely. Fantastic. Looks like we have a good connection. I'm seeing a nice, clean picture, which is fantastic. Uh, just a reminder to any of you who were um, not here earlier or who were watching this show sometime today, um, the Redbubble store, the, the store with the merchandise for Traveling with Bruce, Redbubble has put everything on sale, 20% off today only. It uh, doesn't matter what you order, uh, as long as, I think you got till midnight, and as long as you enter the keyword, uh, which is usually on the top of the page, when you go into my Redbubble store, there'll be a word up there saying 20% off, this is the code word. You enter that at checkout, you get 20% off everything you bought today. Fantastic opportunity to grab stuff. I posted a brand new logo last night uh, on this uh, channel uh, on Redbubble. It's a shot of the, uh, as if you're standing at the back of the cruise ship watching the water disappear behind you. Fantastic. A great looking t-shirt uh, design. Works on travel mugs and you name it, just check it out for yourself and enjoy. Thanks again to all of you who are supporting me on this channel in every way conceivable. I have people who are going to my Amazon link down below and buying stuff on Amazon using my link. I get a commission every time they buy something. Thank you for that. They're buying this stuff. They are sending me uh, donations on my PayPal account. Thank you so much for any and all of you who are doing that for me. Uh, that is just a godsend. 94% uh, of the proceeds that you send me land in my account the same within an hour, within 15 minutes, I bet you the funds are there. Um, some of you folks in the past that sent me funds using the super chat feature here on YouTube. I don't mind getting super chat, but I will tell you that 30% uh, comes off the top. I only get 70% of the proceeds and I have to wait once a month for payout. And so there are times I wait six weeks to get a donation from you because it goes through super chat. I far prefer uh, the uh, PayPal uh, donation. It's instantaneous. You can do it anytime you want, 24 seven. And uh, like I said, 94% comes out the other end, which is just great. Uh, it's fantastic. It lets me get a hot dog or let's Jen get a hot dog at Costco. Let's me get a check and bake and we can get some gas over down there too. So thank you for that. Um, and um, a few of you are donating monthly on my Patreon site. Uh, I have a Patreon account. Uh, I don't do much with it. It's just, it's active. It, it's there. And a few of you like the idea of just making a monthly contribution to my channel. You go to Patreon. It's a $3 minimum or more, whatever you feel comfortable with. If you send me three bucks a month, that's like a dime a day. And I don't mind a dime a day if I can get 500 of you to do it. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> but uh, if you want to send me $100 on Patreon, or I mean uh, $100 on PayPal right now, Please be my guest. I have uses for that kind of money. But uh, any contribution is fine by this guy. Uh, volume is what works, and that, that's uh, that's fantastic. So there you go. Thanks for all your support uh, for the uh, for the channel. I know I get a lot of comments from you. Some of you send me private emails. Some of you uh, uh, send comments on the channel. Some of you send me comments on, on videos that I produce all the time. Thank you for all of that. Uh, I love the uh, I love the interaction. It's fantastic. Um, earlier today, uh, I posted, I was mentioning, I posted a, a video, uh, yesterday. I posted another video the day before, uh, I noticed today someone had shared my video on Facebook and I keep forgetting to mention that for those of you out there who are Facebookers, um, you could do my channel a tremendous service. <laughs> if you were to uh, forward, uh, any video that I produce, one of my three minute, five minute, eight minute videos, if you could forward those out to your Facebook friends and contacts through a share, like a Facebook share, that would be massive. Uh, that, uh, uh, and if you encourage those who get it to share again, <laughs> oh, oh man, the compounding effect of that stunt is massive in, in uh, YouTube's eyes. YouTube looks at that so favorably, but it, it helps my channel 
get exposed to people that would normally not see a video of mine that may not uh, know that I even exist. And especially if it goes to a second share or a third level share, uh, that just takes me out into the atmosphere, the atmosphere, the upper outer atmosphere for exposure. Uh, I can't thank any of you thank more than enough for that. That is uh, just gold for this channel. If I can reach new people who don't know I exist, uh, because I do have 2,300 subscribers. That's true. But 2,300 subscribers in the world of uh, 1 billion YouTubers, uh, I'm puny. And I'm one of the smallest travel channels out there trying to get known and become uh, followed by more and more people. So uh, I appreciate all of you helping me and getting the channel sh uh, shown off to others out there. I love it. And uh, I can't encourage you enough to do it. <laughs> Some of you folks are retweeting my tweets. Love that too. I uh, love it when my tweets get retweeted. That is also gold for this guy and the channel exposure. And uh, Instagram, I do uh, I do Instagram posts. And if any of you uh, share my Instagram with friends on that, that too would be a marvelous uh, addition to my exposure for my channel. So again, I mentioned that uh, that whole Instagram social networking thing, unbelievable. But the Facebook sharing is uh, really cool uh if if you can get me shared and then reshared oh, that is uh, that is fantastic so there you go that's my little spiel on uh the promotion of the channel and building it out so far we have 16 folks watching right now live we got four thumbs ups thank you for that i've just noticed my face uh, frozen here let me just see oh that i did that myself my face is not frozen i am alive and well the uh, streaming is going well if you can spare a thumbs up today I would appreciate that too on this live broadcast. All the thumbs ups uh, help momentum uh, going forward for the channel. I got some trivia questions here for you guys today, but I'm gonna say hi to everybody who's here and then we will start playing trivia and we'll see how we do it. Uh, Robert Brandt was the first in here, uh, 7.32 tonight. He said, Bruce didn't mean to seem argumentative in the 5 p.m. session, but I know the liquor business here in the U.S. Virgin Islands, in and out and all the shortcuts. Uh, Robert, I am totally on your side. <laughs> Everything you say, I totally uh, know you're on the right track. You know what you're talking about, and I am totally with you on the entire story on the alcohol side of the distribution business in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, I couldn't be more uh, um, on, your, on your team on that. Uh, uh, I know what you say is true. I'm cer certain of it. Blaine, hi, Bruce and all. Looking forward to some trivia. Blaine, welcome back. Steaming Bean, the Vatican. He's ready. He's got guessing. He's already guessing the Vatican. He's way ahead of everybody. Robert Brandt, uh, when it comes to that business in the U.S. Virgin Island in general, I know what I'm talking about, or, uh, or I'll say I don't know, and I appreciate it, Robert. I really do. I, I want your opinion. It matters, and it's important. I love it. And Jordan, uh, still having iPad troubles. Ah, go, Ottawa, she says. Robert Brandt, the Vatican, the Steaming Bean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Robert, the steamer, uh, uh, if he doesn't know the answer to a trivia question, he just starts guessing the Vatican. He figures eventually it'll be a correct answer. Uh, Steaming Bean, Ottawa's playing at 7.30 Mountain Time. Uh, Steaming Bean, love my football. Robert Brandt at N. Jordan, have you shut down and rebooted? Uh, and uh, and he said, oh, I got it now. He's saying, and Jordan, uh, tried that. Robert Brandt uh, still says I'm offline. Unbelievable. Uh, Robert Brandt, I uh, thought you meant the, the Pope's house. Laugh out loud. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and Jordan is giving football and thumbs ups. Uh, Robert Brandt uh, tried turning Wi-Fi on and off. Another guess. Uh, and Jordan, uh, yep, uh, Brandt uh, on iPod uh, on iPod now. Uh, and Jordan uh, done that. Oops. Um, uh, hmm, maybe just a weak signal for some reason. Uh, let's see here. Uh, everyone's talking here. Jan Jordan, uh, don't uh, uh, don't uh, don't know Blaine how I'm going to go on trivia today. Uh, not on my regular device. Uh, Robert Brandt, we can have a group answer depending on the questions. <laughs> uh, and we need all we need all to do a group cruise in Australia, New Zealand. Laugh out loud. Uh, I'd go on that, Robert says. And Jordan, yes, Blaine, that would be awesome. So if you see me in and out today on trivia, it, I'll, I'll, it'll be because I'm on my iPod. Blaine, it should be okay with iPod, I would think. And Jordan, I hope so. Tracy Dunlop, hi, all ready for trivia. Robert, Tracy saying hi to Tracy. Um, Steamy Bean, Bruce is enjoying that wretched caffeine-free diet coke I, I i do enjoy that wretched free caffeine diet coke absolutely caffeine free if i have too many of these if these were all diet cokes with regular caffeine the amount of coffee and a regular diet coke uh the amount of caffeine is unbelievable i'd be twitchy as can be this keeps me uh, calm and alive so yeah i love my i love my latte in the morning believe me i have a full-blown cafe latte going lots of caffeine in there but 
then I drink my caffeine free after that, and I'm a happy guy. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, <laughs> what well, good is caffeine free? Anything Robert said. Tracy is saying hi, Robert. Uh, let's see. I don't know, Robert. I need caffeine. Tracy says, Peter Heckma. Hi, Bruce. Anyone, everyone, back for some trivia question. Hey, Peter, welcome back. The steaming bean. Uh, Bruce is the only guy I know who drinks that stuff. I, I know. I, I go to the grocery store, and they only have like two two aisles of those cans. Diet Coke, they have like eight, and then regular Coke, they have 40. You know, So the, the caffeine free is just on this tiny, tiny little line, and they put everything on sale. They put cola on sale, so caffeine free is on sale. It sells out, and one person buys it all. If it's not me, it's somebody else, and I never, I rarely get the sale deal. I have to keep my eyes open and be quick. Uh, what can I say? Uh, they don't stock as much as they do the other stuff. Uh, Brittany Lockwood is saying, hi, Bruce. Just got done watching the replay of the live stream you did earlier today. Welcome back, Brittany. Thank you for watching and, and watching that and being with us here. Robert uh, posted on your Facebook. Uh, I'm Mr. Eeks. Uh, get that, Mr. X? Uh, yeah, thank you. I uh, I looked at that application. I went, who is that? <laughs> uh, who's that really? And uh, I put two and two together and... Uh, I've seen some of your pictures already. Fantastic, Robert. Uh, I sure need my caffeine. He's saying, Wes Morrison, hello, everyone. Hey, Wes, welcome back here. Matt Shannon, hey, everybody. Hey, Matt, Tracy Dunlop, remind me at the end, Bruce, about Redbubble. My memory, not good. 20% off everything on Redbubble. I'm reminding everybody now, buy something on Redbubble today, you guys. It's 20% off. Steaming Bean, I'll try to remember at the end of the show, too. Steaming Bean, I guess Bruce feels the jolts when he drinks caffeine. Oh, I tell you, um, it, it can be bad. Uh, Robert Brandt uh, just bought a new GoPro on Amazon. Link to you, Robert Brandt says. I am crossing my fingers that it went through okay, uh, and I hope you enjoy it very much. And buy all the accessories, too. <laughs> Fantastic, uh, but Robert. Thank you for your support. Uh, Ann Jordan, hey, Peter, hey, Wes. Cool jazz. Hi, Ann Jordan. Good to see you made it in for trivia. Tom uh, Henry, hi, everyone. Cindy is here with me for trivia. Hi, Cindy. Uh, Tom, they're both here. A dynamic duo. We're in trouble. Uh, Robert Brandt, I like share. <laughs> Steaming bean share. Oh my goodness. Uh, Robert Brandt, the steaming bean share. <laughs> Robert Brandt, uh, Brandt, it's Botox. And Jordan, uh, hey, cool jazz, won't be here for long. Valen Martinez, hi, I'm finally back. Valen from Argentina, how you doing, buddy? How's it going? Uh, Valen, tell us something. We were asking, we were talking earlier on the early show about the price of gasoline in our hometown. How much is gasoline where you are in Argentina? Do you buy it by the liter? Tell me how much it is by the liter. If you can tell me in U.S., that would be fine. Uh, we're trying to figure out who's got the most expensive gas and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let us know. And Jordan, hey, Tom, Henry, cool uh, thumbs up. Cool jazz. Oh, no, so sorry here. And, and Jordan, uh, hola, Valen. Robert Brand, thanks, Bruce. Uh, Blaine uh, Bakersfield, that's another standard answer. Blaine Bakersfield, uh, Bakersfield of the Seas is another standard answer on this show. Tom Henry, uh, and I, I am using a Samsung tablet, and, and it is doing the same thing, having trouble. Uh, Brittany Lockwood, it currently, it's currently 90 degrees in Baton Rouge, and the high was 93. Gas ranges from 239 to 244 a gallon. Not bad pricing. Uh, where I am just you know south of me in Coeur d'Alene, it's been like 289, 285 lately. Uh, hopefully, it's coming down this week. And Jordan, iPod will be back just vacuuming. Not fun housework. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Bean, uh, it will be very quiet in cabin in my upcoming cruise without Bruce and Jen. Uh, sorry, Steamer, you're on your own on this one. Uh, Matt Chanhan, hey, Bruce, what is your favorite sport and uh, team? Uh, favorite sport, probably hockey, I suppose, being Canadian, although I enjoy uh, enjoy football. Um, teams, uh, you know, used to be the Toronto Maple Leafs when I was a kid because I used to live in Ontario when I was a child. Uh, and then in my in my early twenties, I was still a, a Leafs fan. Uh, but then they uh, they did something unforgivable in Toronto. Um, the owner uh, Harold Ballard, a real crumungeny old guy, he traded away Lanny McDonald, um, and that was our number got number one sniper and a right hand man for Daryl Sittler, the captain of the team. Uh, the team was falling apart because the owner wanted more publicity than the players were getting. It was a terrible conflict. The captain was so distraught, Sittler, he ripped his C off before the game started. Played the first period with a hole in his jersey because he ripped it off. That is a no-no. Uh, but he did that as a sign of protest and solidarity. I wasn't much of a fan of the Leafs after that because of the owner. And lucky for me, I moved to Calgary, Alberta, Canada, out west. And the Calgary Flames uh, joined the uh, city a few years after I moved there. And uh, wouldn't you know it, uh, the second year that the Calgary Flames were based in Calgary, the Flames made a trade with the then Colorado Rockies Hockey Club, 
the Colorado Rockies eventually moved to New Jersey, became the New Jersey Devils. Anyway, Colorado Rockies uh, took the trade that the Flames offered, and Lanny McDonald, my hero, became a Calgary Flame. And now the Calgary Flames were my favorite hockey team, of course, in my town at the time, too. <clears throat> and I followed Lanny. Love that guy. And uh, in his last season, as his 16th year, he won the Stanley Cup for his one and only time. He won the Stanley Cup. His buddy, Daryl Sittler in Toronto, never won the Cup. He got traded to Detroit. He got traded to Philadelphia. Never won the Stanley Cup in his career. They're both Hall of Famers, but uh, I enjoy watching the Calgary Flames, and I kind of pull for them. But, boy, it's been frustrating the last number of years. So that, there you go. Brief synopsis on my favorite teams. Steaming Bean, Matt, watch Bruce cheer for an Albertan team. Ah. <laughs> Uh, H.A. is Hamilton. Nice. I am thinking of driving up there for a game to see Manziel in the CFL. Well, if he gets the start, the question is, of course, will Manziel play in, in Ottawa and Hamilton or will he be traded to someone else? Keep an eye on developments. He's still a backup right now. Um, Steamer saying he's a backup right now. Steaming Bean, another standard answer in this quiz game is Tokyo. If you're stuck, uh, you got to guess Tokyo for a city. But uh, tonight, uh, Tokyo is not going to help you. Not going to help you tonight. Uh, sorry. Uh, Matt, uh, I know I'm going to guess uh, he will start a few games this season. Though. It's possible. Steamy Bean, uh, uh, Calaros is starter, uh, uh, and he's on a big roll right now. Okay, Tom Henry, I can't, um, I can't stand Diet Coke of any type. I, I, I do Diet Mountain Dew and Diet Dr. Pepper. McDonald's will occasionally give me the Diet Coke when uh, the Diet Pepper was ordered. Yuck, yeah, you gotta hate that. Bean, did you see my uh, uh, my ties yet? Uh, Tom Henry's asking, have you seen my ties yet? Robert Brandt laughing out loud. Uh, Steamer, uh, Tom, love Diet Pepper. <laughs> Tom, man. Jim Thomas, hey Bruce. Hey Jim, how's it going, buddy? Welcome back. Tom Henry, whoa, that was toes at Bean. Uh, the Steamer, Matt, where are you? <laughs> Alan, I will tell you if my maths are right. In today's dollar price, that changes every day. It's about a 1.1 a liter. I think it's a third of a gallon or something like that. Yeah, or 1.1 a liter, dollar ten a liter, uh, 3.7 to one. So that would be about three dollars and uh, seventy seventy three dollars eighty cents a gallon. It's more than the U.S., but uh, uh, around the same as Canada, I guess. Yeah, that's about the same price balance. Good, good job. Well, thank you for telling us that. The price of gas in venezuela compared to north america and in canada and so on the us and canada very interesting all right are we ready to play a trivia i'm ready to go here i'm ready to, to start this thing off i got uh, three for you guys and uh, i'm kind of looking forward to this uh i thought i would start with the easy one first and let's see how we do with the easy one um this one here is uh 30 30 correct answers and um, uh, here's your question to start this whole thing off. Uh, Matt, by the way, saying, I'm from Boston, living in Cleveland now, he says. Um, here we go. Our first question uh, of the evening. Um, uh, Manziel, he says Manziel's going to end up in Saskatchewan, the steamer. I thought it would be Toronto with the injury to, uh, to uh, Ricky Ray. Uh, but we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. The largest, the largest metro areas, the largest cities in the United States by metropolitan population. Now, I have to warn you, I think this quiz is a few years old. It's about four or five years back. And so some of these numbers may or may not be as accurate as we like them to be. Uh, I have a suspicion it's possible that what I'm looking at is a 2010 census number here. But nonetheless, it's pretty accurate for the placement of these cities. Tell me the cities in the United States that have the highest population in the metropolitan area as a whole combined, all right? Uh, let's see what's going on. Steaming Bean is thinking about Los Angeles. Jim Thomas is thinking Los Angeles. Blaine is going with Los Angeles. Uh, they're all coming in with LA to start with. And uh, guys, uh, it's number two on the list, 13 plus million officially. Now there's a, uh, I'll, I'll do some more explaining later about these numbers, but uh, we'll see how this works out. Blaine is also coming in with New York. Matt Shanahan is guessing New York. Tom Henry, New York. Robert Brandt, New York. And uh, right now uh, that is the number one city, of course, in the United States. Metropolitan area is estimated to be 19 million people. I'm going to guess that includes Newark, uh, that whole region right there, uh, just that whole metropolitan area, all of uh, Long Island and so on. Uh, Blaine, 2007, he's guessing Atlanta, and Atlanta is on the list number nine at 5.3 million, according to this survey. Uh, Steaming Bean and Matt Shanahan are guessing Chicago, and Chicago comes in number three at 9.5 million, according to this survey here. Matt Shanahan is guessing Boston, 
And Boston comes in at number 10 at 4.6 million. Uh, Steamer is coming in with Phoenix. And uh, Phoenix uh, showed on this list in 11th, uh, sorry, 14th place at 4.2 million. I know for a fact it's more than that. But uh, that's what the survey says. I'm kind of thinking that it's a top 10 or top 7 city. But nonetheless, it's 14th in this survey. And it's uh, correct. Uh, this, this answer is correct today. Tom Henry. Philadelphia, uh, Philly, number six on this survey here at six million people. Uh, Robert Brandt is going with Dallas. So is Blaine going with Dallas. Uh, Dallas, number four at 6.5 million. Lots of folks there. Brittany has New York. Tracy has New York. And we are both correct. We've got it. Blaine, Chicago, that is right. A steamer not, uh, in Miami. He's looking for Miami and Florida. Uh, Miami showing number eight on the list at 5.6 million. Lots of folks that probably includes Fort Lauderdale, that whole region. Uh, Robert Brandt, Atlanta, we have. Uh, Steamer, uh, New York City, we've got. Uh, Tracy, Los Angeles, we have. Jim Thomas is wondering about Sacramento, California. The Sacramento rate in the top 30, it does. 25th on the list, 2.1 million. It's in there. Robert uh, has Boston. That's correct. Cheryl uh, Nemo is here saying uh, Seattle. And Cheryl, I think you're right. Uh, Seattle should be a top 30. It's number 15, according to this survey, 3.5 million, right in the middle of the survey. Well done. Tracy has got Miami. We've got that one. Blaine guessed Philly. So did Robert. We have it. Jim Thomas, San Diego, California. Bruce, uh, the guess is San Diego, 17th on the list at 3.1 million. I think that's light. But uh, still in the top 30. Tracy had Philly. Steaming Bean, Denver, Colorado. Um, Denver is showing on this uh, list at 21 at 2.6 million. I can't believe it's that light. I, I, I'm sure Denver is higher than that in the region, but it's on the top 30. Tracy Dunlap, Tampa, uh, Florida. Tampa comes in at 18th at 2.8 million on this one. Uh, New Orleans, Brittany Lockwood is wondering about New Orleans. Uh, the metropolitan area of New Orleans. It does not show in the top 30. Um, I have a feeling the uh, the Katrina knocked it down under the top 30. Uh, Robert Brandt, D.C., Washington, D.C. What about Washington, Bruce? Um, I'm looking for Washington, D.C. here. Pardon my French. There it is. Seventh overall, 5.7 million. It's right in the top 10. Absolutely. Cheryl Nemo, Houston. Uh, yes, fifth overall, six million easy uh, for Houston. Very, very populated area. Blaine is thinking Detroit, Michigan. And Detroit comes in number 13 at 4.28 million, 13th place. Um, Detroit, Dallas from Matt. We have Dallas. Uh, Houston, Matt, we got it. Tracy as New Orleans. Don't have it here, Tracy. It's not on top 30. Steamers got Tampa. We got Tampa. Peter went with Miami. We have Miami. Blaine, San Francisco. Um, San Francisco is number 11 at 4.4 million. I think the number in reality is higher than that. Um, Steaming Bean, St. Louis. St. Louis, Missouri, 19th place, 2.8 million. There was a time in the U.S. Census, St. Louis would have been in the top three many years ago, about 100 years ago. But nowadays, uh, 19th place, 2.8 million is showing here. Uh, Blaine, Denver, we have it. Uh, Robert, D Detroit, we've got it. Uh, Steaming Bean, Kansas City. What about Kansas City, Bruce? Uh, number 29 just made the cut, 2.0 million in the Kansas City region, according to this uh, survey. Blaine, Minneapolis, St. Paul. What about that one, Bruce? Uh, Minneapolis, yeah, uh, 16th place, 3.3 million. Definitely in the top 30. Tracy has got Dallas. We're right there. Robert Brandt, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, home of the Steelers. Pittsburgh, 22nd place, 2.3 million, general metropolitan area. It is a top 30 city in the United States. Tracy, Houston, we have. Uh, Blaine, Baltimore. What about Baltimore, Bruce? Uh, Baltimore, Maryland, uh, 20th place overall, 2.7 million people. Baltimore is in there. Steamy Bean, Salt Lake City. What about Salt Lake City? Does it rank in the top 30? Uh, Salt Lake City. I don't have Salt Lake City in the top 30. No, sir. I don't have it. Uh, San Diego, uh, we've got already, uh, uh, Matt. Uh, Tom Henry, laugh out loud to Toronto. Uh, Detroit is a ghost town. Yeah, the, the city itself, but the metropolitan area is where they all went to. Uh, and that's what we're looking at, the metropolitan area. Charlotte, Blaine is thinking about Charlotte. Uh, is that North Carolina? Um, 
Let me take a look for Charlotte. Um, da, 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 da. I do not see Charlotte uh, in the top 30. It may well be that it's in the top 30 today, but according to this survey, it wasn't at the time. Not yet. Uh, Jacksonville. Tracy Dunlap is thinking Jacksonville, and I am looking for Jacksonville. I am shocked that it's not here uh, because Jacksonville has more people than Miami, but the metropolitan area of Miami is huge. South Miami, Fort Lauderdale all those other communities. So I don't have Jacksonville on this uh, on this chart. Uh, Tracy, uh, Denver, we have Robert Brent, Memphis, question mark. <coughs> um, Memphis does not make this list. No, uh, Raleigh, uh, no, does not make the list either. Uh, sorry, Steamer. Uh, Tracy, Las Vegas, yep, number 30, just made the cut at 1.9 million. I think it's even more than that now. Uh, Orlando, Robert Brent is wondering about Orlando. Yeah, 26th place, 2.1 million to think in 1967 when Walt Disney went to secure the land, to grab the land for Walt Disney World. Orlando had maybe 40, 50,000 people. Uh, it was just a little agricultural place in the middle of Florida and Mr. Walt Disney transformed that place. And 50 years later, look at it now. Unbelievable. St. Louis, Thomas Henry, we've uh, we've already guessed. Uh, and it came in at 19th place. Nashville is another guest coming in right now. I think we've tried Nashville. Or if we haven't, it doesn't matter. It's not on the list. Let me tell you what you got right, and I'll tell you how many to go. Uh, you guys guessed New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Dallas, Houston, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., Miami, Atlanta, Boston. That's the top 10. Then you guys got San Francisco for 11th. You're missing the 12th place uh, contender here. 13th place, Detroit, Phoenix, Seattle, Minneapolis, St. Paul, San Diego, Tampa, St. Louis, Baltimore. That's the top 20. Only one missing. Then we have Denver, Pittsburgh. I need number 23. I need number 24. We've got Sacramento, Orlando. I need 27 and 28. And we've got Kansas City and Las Vegas. That's what we have so far. Steamers guess in Houston. We've already got it. He guessed Dallas. We already have it. Jim Thomas, Austin, Texas. Is Austin on the list, Bruce? No. Uh, Austin, not on this list, but I think by now, uh, 2018, I think Austin is in the top 30. Robert Brandt, Minneapolis, we have it. Matt Shanahan, uh, Shanahan Seattle, we already got. Indy, uh, Blaine, we already have Indianapolis. Steamy Bean, Austin, we got, uh, didn't make it. San Antonio, Steamer, yeah. San Antonio, 24th place, 2.2 million, and I think it's bigger. Uh, Baltimore, we've got. Indianapolis, we've got. Anyone say Portland? No, no one said Portland. And Portland is on the list. Portland comes in at 23rd, uh, 2.25 million, just over 2.2 million in Portland, uh, Oregon. Well done. Nashville, Tracy is going with. No, uh, we only need one, two, three left. And uh, let's just see how these clues come in here. Las Vegas, we have El Paso. No. San Antonio, we just got. Cincinnati, Cincy, yeah. Cincinnati, 2.1 million. I think it's more than that, but since he is in, uh, they came in at 27th place. Uh, Las Vegas, we have Omaha. No, not on this list. Looking for two cities. Detroit is bouncing back, though, Robert is saying. Uh, Cheryl Nemo, Phoenix, we have. Steamer, Seattle, we got. Bakersfield, cool jazz. What about Bakersfield? No, 350,000, not enough. Steamer, uh, Portland, we just did. Uh, Phoenix, we've got already. Savannah, Georgia, no, Henry. Sorry, Tom. Uh, steaming bean, Tokyo. How about Tokyo, Bruce? I'm going for it now. Sorry. Brittany Lockwood, Montgomery, Alabama. No. Uh, Orlando, Peter. No. Buffalo, steaming bean. No. Jim Thomas, San Jose. No. Blaine. Uh, I think San Jose is part of San Francisco, by the way. Uh, Blaine, Riverside. Yeah. Riverside, uh, 4.3 million. Now, you know, I have a tr I have trouble with Riverside being a non-metropolitan area of Los Angeles because you can't tell the difference between the border of, of, uh, 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 Riverside and, and uh, Fullerton or Covina or West Covina. It's all the same. That 4.3 should be in the LA number, putting LA at 17 and a half million. That's my personal opinion, but that's just me. Uh, there's one city left and uh, I see it. Uh, Steamer went with Cincinnati. No. Peter went with Charlotte, which is a good guess, but no. But Blaine got it. Cleveland, Ohio. It's Cleveland, uh, at least 2 million. I think it's more than that in reality, but on this chart, it shows 2 million. This quiz is over. Um, other guesses that were coming in, Seattle, Harrisburg, PA. Uh, Ann Jordan is guessing the state of Ohio. 
Uh, Vicky, hey, hey, to, traveling with Bruce. Hi, Vicky. Welcome back. Hi, everyone. Cheryl Nemo was guesting San Diego. Matt went to Columbus. Matt then went with Cleveland. And Jordan's going, hi, Vicky. And Vicky's saying hi. And Tracy Dunlop went with Columbia, South Carolina. This quiz is done. And we've got the top 30 metropolitan cities in the United States. We have New York, L.A., Chicago, Dallas, Houston, Philadelphia, Washington, Miami, Atlanta, Boston, San Francisco, Riverside, Detroit, Phoenix, Seattle, Minneapolis, St. Paul, San Diego, Tampa, St. Louis, Baltimore, Denver, Pittsburgh, Portland, San Antonio, Sacramento, Orlando, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Kansas City, and Las Vegas. And I think these have shifted a little bit. There may be one or two that have come into the top 30 that aren't there now, but uh, that was the latest. I think this is a 2010 result, just my guess. But that one is done. Well done, you guys. Uh, Matt, uh, uh, WTH, how is it Cleveland? I lived here and I would never guess that. Truly shocked. <laughs> it's your own town. And the metropolitan, greater metropolitan area of Cleveland is a top 30 city. Used to be Cleveland was a top five in the United States in the early 1900s because lakefront, uh, the Great Lakes, so much business was done through Cleveland as a transportation hub in those early days. Steaming Bean, Ricky Ray is gone for the season and sadly maybe his career. It could well be. I think he's 38. And that could be it for Ricky Ray, uh, which is too bad. Uh, but he was on borrowed time the last two years because he had suffered concussions. And uh, I think he should have hung him up last year when he won it all. But that's just me. Okay. Two quizzes to go. Here's the second quiz. I'm giving you this one. Uh, the, the, the number one quiz I'll save for last. But here's my second uh, trivia question of the night. I think we're going to have fun with this one. Uh, tell me. This is from 2016, only two years old. Uh, the 30 most visited websites. What are the 30 most visited websites? I'm going to guess that this is a USA thing, uh, North America type question, as opposed to those in India or Pakistan or China. Uh, so I'm going to guess this is a North American thing. Tell me the most visited websites. Matt Shanahan is saying if LeBron leaves Cincinnati, we'll lose a lot of people and a lot of the economy. Cool Jazz, have to get Bruce an acronym dictionary. Uh, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> I love watching Modern Family and uh, love Bill Dumpy. And uh, there's an episode where he's talking about how hip and cool he is. He knows all the acronyms like WTF, why the face? Uh, <laughs> I love that show. He is my favorite character, I am sure. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, he's thinking Tokyo is the number one visited website in the world, and he would be wrong. <laughs> Blaine uh, is thinking YouTube, number one or one of the top uh, 30 websites, and you are correct, sir. It's number two. YouTube is number two uh, on this, uh, on this uh, uh, trivia question right here. Blaine, Amazon. Amazon is number four. Number four most visited, most visited websites site uh so vicky had amazon as well so did tracy and it's because of you guys and all the links you're doing through my affiliate link that amazon is number two and i thank you or it's number four i thank you for that very much uh matt shanahan ebay uh yes number nine on the list is ebay uh let's see here and jordan youtube we have it uh, robert brandt what about google yeah number one number one is google and it owns youtube which is number two uh isn't that interesting um by the way uh uh yeah that's uh, that's that's correct sorry let me continue on thank you uh let's see uh I don't know. robert brand has google as well uh or had uh, google sorry Brittany had youtube as well excuse me there we are robert brand facebook and same with blaine facebook yeah number three is facebook third most vi was visited website i think from north american uh, uh, viewers uh, uh googlers or uh, youtubers or or in social mediators <laughs> cool jazz google we have it uh vicky is wondering about walmart what about the walmart website bruce is it in the top 30 um i'm looking for walmart here and i don't think so uh it is not in the top 30 no um let's see here ebay tracy has ebay we got it a steaming bean yahoo yeah yahoo is number five on the list uh instagram and jordan uh yes Instagram is 13th. I have an Instagram account. Uh, Brittany has Facebook as well. Robert uh, Brandt, Twitter. Yes, sir. Number seven. I have a Twitter account uh, for my channel. It is there. Blaine went, went, went with Google. Blaine also went with Reddit. Reddit is also up there. Number eight, most visited website 
is Reddit. Snapchat from Ann Jordan. Snapchat. Um, looking for Snapchat. Pardon me while I keep looking for Snap uh, the chat. Uh, I'm not finding Snapchat. I thought I had it, but it's not in the top 30. Uh, very, very interesting. Snapchat is not in the top 30. Uh, that's surprising to me. Uh, but this is 2016. Things could have changed in the last two years. Brittany, Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. Netflix, you betcha. Number 11 is Netflix. We go there all the time, of course. Uh, Jim Thomas, porn. Sorry, needed said. Uh, yes, well, porn uh, doesn't count in this quiz. Uh, but I'm sure uh, if those statistics were in here, oh, my God. Uh, Robert uh, Brandt is wondering about WebMD. Um, is WebMD on the list? Uh, not in the top 30, no. Uh, Wikipedia, Blaine, yeah. Wikipedia number six. Uh, you guys have now got the top nine. You've got Google, YouTube, Facebook, Amazon, Yahoo, Wikipedia, Twitter, Reddit, eBay. You get the first nine right there. Well done. Uh, Steamy Bean, I have been confused for camp. I've been confused for camp. Uh, <laughs> cool Jazz. Pornhub. <laughs> it doesn't count, Cool Jazz. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll show it, but no, we can't. We don't have it. Uh, <laughs> Robert Friend. Oh, porn. <laughs> doesn't count. Uh, Matt Shahan and Netflix. Uh, we have already blamed Twitter. We got it. Tom Henry, weather. What about the weather? Uh, let me take a look-see for weather. Um, is there a site to do with the weather? Um, mm, no, no, no. I have nothing, nothing weather. Uh, Walmart, no, doesn't make it. Yahoo, we have. CNN, Matt Shanahan, CNN website. Uh, yes, number 20 is CNN, um, the home of the fake news. Matt Shanahan, Fox News. Is Fox News on the uh, on the thing, Bruce? Uh, don't people turn to Fox for real news? Not in the top 30. No, no, no. The so-called real news is not in the top 30. <laughs> That's got to drive somebody crazy over in the White House. <laughs> uh, Instagram. We've already got it. CBS. Matt Shanahan. What about CBS, Bruce? CBS. Um, no, and not on there either. Uh, LinkedIn. Oh, here's a good one. Number 10. Now we have the top 11, eBay, LinkedIn, Netflix. I'm looking for 12. Uh, let's see, ESPN. Yeah, ESPN is another one. 15th place, Baidu. Uh, Baidu is um, not on the top 30 uh, that I'm showing here. Uh, nope. Uh, let's see, eBay, we have JCPenney, nope. Pharmacy, nope. Target, nope. Expedia, nope. Orbitz, nope. AOL, nope. Used to be, but not anymore. Vacations to go, you'd think. With all the mentions I give those guys, no. <laughs> Peter Heckema, WebMD, no. Cruise Critic, no. Uh, Indeed, Vicky uh, is wondering about Indeed. Uh, I thought so too, because of all the job postings. They're not in the top thirty. Peter Heckema, Bloomberg, Bruce, Bloomberg, all the financial news and that type of thing. No, nope, it's not in there either. NCL, Tom Henry, Norwegian Cruise Lines, no. Brittany, uh, Travelocity, nope, it's not in there either. Uh, Cheryl, Craigslist, yes. Craigslist is 12th right there. That just gave you uh, all the way to 13th place. Uh, 10th was LinkedIn, 11th was Netflix, 12th was Craigslist, 13th is Instagram. I'm looking for 14, 16. We still have got a, more, a few more to go. Craigslist was a good one. Priceline, uh, no, Priceline did not make the top 30. Hulu, I thought Hulu would be a shoe in for this, but it's not. It's not on the top. 30. It's on Crayable. It's incredible. Steaming Bean, Triple uh, X, Bruce, Triple X. Well, you know it's number one, but uh, we don't count it. Uh, Pinterest. Uh, Blaine is wondering about Pinterest. Uh, yep, yeah, number 16 on the list is Pinterest. Very popular. I have a page there. I post stuff there. Brittany, Barnes & Noble. What about Barnes & Noble? Nope, they're not in the top uh, 30. Uh, Blaine, Apple. Yeah. Apple is uh, on number 21. That would be Apple Music and so on. New York Times, Blaine, yeah, New York Times, the failing New York Times, 26th place ahead of Fox, uh-oh. Um, Brittany Lockwood, Amazon, we've already got, Amazon came forth. Uh, New York Times, so you have Amazon, Steaming Bean, MySpace, laugh out loud, MySpace, uh, no, sorry, no, no MySpace. Uh, <laughs> Disney, Brittany Lockwood, what about Disney? 
Uh, Disney is not in the top 30. Uh, Go Daddy. Uh, Go Daddy is, uh, nope, not in the top 30 either. Uh, Steamy Bean Fox, nope. ESPN, we have Vimeo. Uh, no, Vimeo is not in here either. CNN, we have already. What's MySpace? Uh, laugh out loud. Uh, I think la I think MySpace is more of an app than a website, but I'm not sure. Wikipedia, we already have. Seakeeper, uh, PBS, no. Uh, HBO uh, is being guessed. No, neither are the, of those are, is in there. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Um, uh, GoDaddy, no. Uh, Brittany, I'm giving the websites I go to. Why not? Cool Jazz, MCN. What about M, M or MS, MSN? Excuse me, <laughs> MSN, MCN. MSN, um, yes, Microsoft, 28th place. Uh, that's another one. Hulu, no. Redbubble, no. Colleges, uh, doesn't help. Flipboard, no. Uh, Sprint, no. Spotify, Spotify, uh, that's a music download site. Nope, not in the top 30. Sprint, no. Verizon, Verizon, and Etsy. Uh, Verizon and Etsy, uh, neither are those are in the top 30. Is that something? Uh, Steam Bean Pinterest is all about cupcakes and wedding dresses, plus my videos. They're there too. Pandora, no. Uh, Southwest, no. Delta, no. iTunes, that's part of Apple. We kind of got that already. Match Hannah, the higher up at Fox must be so mad they aren't top 30, but CNN is the fake. Dude. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Trip Advisor, no. Uh, Yelp. Another good guess, uh, Yelp, and I'm not showing it either. Um, all recipes, I'm not showing it. iTunes, that's Apple. Microsoft, we already have MSN. I got to give you some hints here. Um, let's see. I'm going to tell you what you got. So far, you have Google, YouTube, Facebook, Amazon, Yahoo, Wikipedia, Twitter, Reddit, eBay, LinkedIn, Netflix, Craigslist, Instagram. That's the top 13. Missing 14. I've got ESPN. Pinterest, that's 15, 16. I'm missing 17, 18, 19. I've got Apple. I've got Apple and CNN. That's 20, 21. Then I need 22, 23, 24, 25. I've got New York Times, 26. I need 27. I got 28, Microsoft, and I need 29 and 30. So I've got a few to go here. Um, Groupon, no. HLN, home, home, home Shopping Network. Is that what that is? Home shop. Siri, no. Hilton, no. Dell, no. Choice Hotels. Neither of those. None of those. Um, I'm um, looking for uh, uh, an offshoot of Microsoft. There's a couple of offshoots of Microsoft I could use. The NOAA, uh, the Ad no National Oceanic Admi and, 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 and Atmosphere, no. Uh, Kickstarter, no. SeatGeek, no. Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo. Uh, let me look. For no, I don't have Wells Fargo. ABC News, no. Bing, yeah. Bing is one of them. Bing is 17th on the list. I need another offshoot of uh, Microsoft. ABC News, no. Uh, Samsung, no. Citibank? Citibank, Bruce. Citibank. Uh, no, I need another bank. I need two other banks, but not Citibank. See if that helps you guys. Uh, Chase. Going for Chase Manhattan. Yes. 22nd overall, Chase Manhattan Bank. Uh, StubHub, no. Outlook. That's a good one, but that's not what I'm looking for. Bank of America is definitely one of them. Bank of America, I got that one now. Um, Royal Bank of Canada, no. TD Bank, no. Uh, no more banks. I'm looking for uh, an offshoot of Yahoo. Uh, Yahoo owns this. Um, what else am I going to do here? Uh, I'm looking for a money. Uh, uh, well, if, if any of you make a donation to my channel, you use these guys. There's your clue right there. Uh, uh, let's see. Capital One, a way to go. And Tom Henry saying, uh, yeah, and nailed it. Bank of America. What uh, what site do you use if you send me money? Um, the donations. And I so appreciate it. Blaine is thinking Forbes. And then there's Bitcoin. Uh, PayPal, Matt. And Cool Jazz. Uh, and then Steph K is going Patreon. And Patreon with Blaine. It's PayPal. And thank you, Tom, again for that. Uh, also for that guest. Under Armour is another guest. PayPal is 24th overall. Um, but, uh, but the others don't, uh, don't make it. Patreon is not up there. Uh, let's see. Thanks, Tom. Uh, the mafia. <laughs> How about the mafia? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, um, there's one here. It's an offshoot of Yahoo. I think Yahoo owns these guys. And, uh, let's see. Brittany Long, PayPal. Why did I not think of that? Uh, Tony Soprano, laugh out loud. Um, and then, um, 
I'm going to have to probably give you the rest of these because they're offshoots. And you may have guessed them by another name that I'm not familiar with. So forgive me if I screw this up in any way. Um, but uh, we'll see what we do here. Um, the number uh, the number 14 uh, most visited website is something called Live. I don't know what that is. Anybody know? Uh, that's, that's that one. And then the number 18 most vid visited website is called uh, I-M-G-U-R, Imgur. What the heck is that? I don't know what that is. The number 19 site is connected with uh, Yahoo. It's called Tumblr. Tumblr, T-U-M-B-L-R, Tumblr. Never been to it. Um, then I've got uh, number 23. This one is uh, it's letter T dot C-O. It's used as a URL shortener. Uh, again, I, I don't know how that has its own website designation, but it's 23rd on the list. It's visited and used a lot, obviously, folks who want to shorten web, web addresses. Number 25 is associated with Microsoft. Uh, it's uh, Office. I think it's Office. It's called Office, and I think that's part of Microsoft. Is it not Microsoft Office? I don't know if that's some kind of a website. I don't know. You know. Number 27 on the list is Blogspot. It's another one of these, uh, whatever can I say, uh, Seakeeper Grinder. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Steaming Bean Upworthy and Jordan. Never heard of it. Uh, cool Jazz. Steaming Bean Grinder. Ah. Uh, and Jordan Bean. <laughs> cool Jazz. Yep. Log spot we have. The last one I have is known as the International Movie Database. Is that movie phone? I, I don't know. Uh, it's the last one on the list. So there you are. Those are the top 30 most visited websites. I'll rattle them off one last time. It's Google, then YouTube, Facebook, Amazon, Yahoo, Wikipedia, Twitter, Reddit, eBay, LinkedIn, Netflix, Craigslist, Instagram, Live, ESPN, Pinterest, Bing, Einger, uh, Tumblr, CNN, Apple, Chase, Manhattan Bank, uh, T.co, the URL shortener, PayPal, Office, New York Times, Blogspot, Microsoft, Bank of America, and International Movie Database. Those are the top 30 most visited websites, I think, by Americans or North Americans. That's my hunch. Uh, and Office is all in one, it says. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, one more trivia question. This one it's going to take a while, and that's why I saved it for last. Uh, but this one, I am looking forward to it. I love this one. Um, I hope you enjoy this one. Uh, there have got to be, oh, my gosh, how many answers? Uh, one, two, three, four, 57 correct answers. 57 answers. But a bunch of you will pick these off so fast. Uh, once you get into this, uh, this will go pretty quick, and I think you're going to enjoy it. All right, here it comes, the last one. Are you ready? Here we go. Tell me every Bill Murray movie there's there's been made. Movies with Bill Murray in there. Bill Murray, 57 movies, started in 1979, right up to 2016. I've got answers here. What movies have Bill Murray been in? 57 of them, starting in 79. Here we go. Matt Shanahan, 57. Oh, my God. Brittany Lockwood, I have published something. Uh, Wik uh, Wikipedia, well done, Brittany. Tom Henry, Stripes. Who can forget the classic movie, Stripes of Tom and the Steamer, right on there. 1981. Can you believe it? 1981. That movie's timeless. We'll be watching that for decades longer. Uh, unbelievable, Stripes. Uh, second movie, Matt Shanahan, Groundhog Day. I love that movie. I loved that movie, 1993, Groundhog Day. Uh, cool Jazz got Groundhog Day, too. Blaine went with Ghostbusters. Yeah, Ghostbusters, 1984. Uh, Tracy Groundhog Day, Matt Shanahan, Caddyshack. Same with Blaine, Caddyshack, 1980. Classic movie, The Groundskeeper. Groundhog Day from Tom Henry, and Tracy had Groundhog Day. Blaine, Kingpin. What about Kingpin? I know he did that movie. 1996, he did Kingpin. Tracy has stripes. We got a Talladega Nights. Brittany Lockwood is thinking Talladega Nights. Did he do it? And when? Uh, Talladega Nights. Um, it's not ringing a bell with me here. Uh, Talladega Nights. I'm looking. Uh, I don't see Talladega Nights in a Bill Murray movie. Brittany, keep guessing. I know you're guessing your favorite movies. It's okay with me. Meatballs, Blaine, uh, number one movie he ever made. The first one, 1979. Meatballs, holy moly. 
Uh, Tracy has meatballs as well. Steamy Bean Candy Shack. Tracy Dunlop, Garfield the Movie. Yeah, Garfield the Movie. He did Garfield the Movie, uh, 2004. Fantastic. Uh, let's see here. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to get my list a little closer for me here. Uh, Space Jam. Blaine is saying Space Jam 1996. He did Space Jam. And Jordan Ghostbusters, we've got it. Robert Brent, Monuments Men with all those guys, with uh, George Clooney and all those guys. Yeah. He did Monuments Men. That was done in 2014, just four years ago. Uh, Garfield, the movie we've got, uh, but there's a second Garfield. What was that one called? That's a big hint for you guys. Uh, Face Jam, that no, was Space Jam, Tracy. Uh, Robert, uh, Get Smart. Yeah, he did Get Smart in 2008, 10 years ago. Lost in Translation, Robert. I love that movie. I love that movie. 2003, 15 years ago, he did Lost in Translation. It's it's San it's uh, San uh, Takuri Takuri time. What's that expression? He holds that glass of booze. Santur Santuri time. Is it Santuri time? Oh, it's always Santuri time. Isn't that the phrase? Try to remember that. Blame Scrooged. Yes, 1988. 30 years ago, he did Scrooge. Tracy Dunlop. Tootsie. He was in Tootsie in 1982. He almost stole that movie himself. Awesome movie. Brittany, Titanic. Uh, no, I know you watched it, but he wasn't in it. Sorry. Keep guessing. Uh, Robert Brandt, uh, Space Jam. We've got it. Tom Henry, Ghostbusters 2. Yeah. 1989, he did Ghostbusters. He did the first one in 84. Five years later, he did the second one. Uh, where the Buffalo Roam, the steaming bean, is saying 1980. That was his third movie, Where the Buffalo Roam. Rushmore from Blaine. Blaine is going Rushmore. I know that is correct. 1998, 20, uh, 20 years ago. Uh, what about Bob? Love that movie. Oh, man, that was a great movie. What about Bob? Hilarious. 1991. That is already 27 years ago with Richard Dreyfus. Oh my gosh, that's a long time ago. What about Bob? Apollo 13, Brittany Lockwood is going for her favorite movies. Brittany, she loves Apollo 13, but Bill Murray wasn't in it. Keep guessing, Brittany. Tracy Dunlap, Larger Than Life. Larger Than Life uh, sounds familiar to me. 1996, 22 years ago. Wow. Uh, St. Vincent, Matt Shanahan is thinking St. Vincent. Uh, it was 2014. Very well done, St. Vincent. Uh, Charlie's Angels, Blaine, 2007. Charlie's Angels. He did Charlie's Angels in um, 2000. He did Charlie's Angels. Uh, Little Shop of Horrors, Robert Brandt. The Little Shop of Horrors, 1986, with I believe Steve Martin and I believe uh, Rick Moranis. Um, Hawaii. Tracy Dunlop is guessing Hawaii. I, I don't recall a movie with our friend uh, ba, 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 Bill Murray in ha, 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 Hawaii, I've got Aloha. Uh, that would be the movie. Uh, 2015, I'll give you that. Um, oh, no, Aloha. <laughs> she corrected herself. Scrooge, we already have steamer. Uh, A Tale of Two Kitties. Tom Henry, yeah, that's the second Garfield movie. In, uh, 2006, uh, the sequel, he did that one. Garfield, A Tale of Two Kitties. Well done. Larger than life, we have already. The Lost City, Tracy Dunlop. The Lost City. I'm looking for when that was shot. The Lost City. I'm looking, looking, looking. Ooh-wee. Uh, let's see here. The Lost City. I'm not finding it. Am I missing something? Uh, the Lost. Oh, here it is. I got it. 2005. Thank you. I just skipped over it. Got it right there. Sylvia, hi. This must be movies. Bill Murray was in was in was in. Yep, Bill Murray movies. Absolutely. Steaming Bean, Broken Flowers. Broken Flowers is a correct guess. I'm just looking for the title and the date it was done. Broken Flowers, 2005. He did Broken Flowers. Uh, let's see here. Blaine, a very Murray Christmas. Um, I don't have that uh, as a, a title. I don't believe I don't have that as a title, A Very Murray Christmas. Um, but, 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 but if it was named something else, it might work, but I don't have it here. Uh, stripes, we've got already. Uh, Tom Henry, The Life Aquatic. 
<clears throat> excuse me, the Life Aquatic. Um, let me look, let me look, let me look, 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 look. The Life Aquatic. Yep, 2004. Steve uh, Zimmick. I can't remember. The, I can't read my own writing, but that was a movie. What about Bob? We have St. Vincent. We've got Brittany Lockwood. Remember the Titans? Brittany, uh, I don't think Remember the Titans is a, a movie that he was in either. Um, sorry to say, keep coming with guesses. Um, Blues Brothers. He was not in Blues Brothers. Nope. Uh, Brittany Lockwood, The Love Bug. Nope. Sorry, Brittany. Matt Shanahan, Fantastic Mr. Fox, twice. He had it last night, too. Yeah, yeah. Matt Shanahan, Fantastic Mr. Fox. That was in 09. Uh, wasn't that with um, Meryl Streep? And wasn't that with Tom Hanks? Right? Is that the one I'm thinking about? I think so. The Mary Poppins uh, movie. Is that the one? Uh, the Making of Mary Poppins. Um, let's see here. Robert Brandt, the new Ghostbusters with the girl cast. Yes, Ghostbusters 2016, the latest the latest movie he was in. Um, uh, let's see here. Blaine, aloha. We have it. Matt Shanahan, I love uh, What About Bob. Me too. But Tom Henry, The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book. Uh, was he in The Jungle Book? Um, I think he was, and I'm trying to remember where I have that written, uh, the jungle book. Uh, I'm not finding there. It is 2016 as well. Just the last two years. Jungle book. Well done. Um, Brittany Lockwood, Herbie goes bananas. Uh, nope. He's not in that one. Those are from the sixties. Brittany, Robert Brandt, dumb and dumber. Um, not the original. He was in the latest version. And I'm going to give you this one. Uh, it was called um, Dumb and Dumber 2, spelled T-O-O, -O, Dumb and Dumber 2. <laughs> Brittany, the Lion King. Was he in the Lion King? No. Uh, Vicky uh, has broken flowers. We have it already. Robert Brandt, the Grand Budapest Hotel. I love that movie. That was a, such a good movie, the Grand Budapest Hotel. Funny. Love that movie. Yes, he was in that movie. Passion Play. Blaine is going for 2010 Passion Play. Steamy Bean, Coffee and Cigarettes. It was a movie I saw it at the Auckland Film Festival. Coffee and Cigarettes, 2003. Correct. Blaine, nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. 1984, 34 years ago. Whoa. Uh, the Fantastic Mr. Fox with Meryl Streep. We got it. Wow, you guys are way smarter, Robert Saint. Vicky, Charlie's Angels, we've got it. Brittany Lockwood, Atlantis. Well, did he star in Atlantis? Brittany Lockwood, I don't think so, Brittany Lockwood. No, he didn't start in Atlantis, sorry. Uh, Mad Dog Glory. Vicky is wondering about Mad Dog Glory. Uh, yeah, 1993, he starred in Mad Dog Glory. He was in that movie. Brittany Lockwood, I'm just putting movies down that come to my mind. Brittany, keep going. Just keep going. Annie, he wasn't in Annie. Matt Shanahan, Isle of Dogs. 2017. I don't have it yet. I'll take your word for it. Uh, 2018. I'll take your word for it. Uh, Tom Henry, Isle of Dogs. Brittany Lockwood, Finding Nemo. No, he wasn't in Finding Nemo. Blaine, she's having a baby. She's having a baby? Was he in that movie? She's having a baby? Uh, let's take a look. Let's take a quick peek here at is she having, she's having a baby. I'm looking. Oh, I'm looking. Uh, I'm not finding it. I'm not, I'm not finding that one. Uh, Sylvia, the only movie I remember is Caddyshack. I don't watch too many Bill Murray movies. Sylvia, Sylvia, you're missing out on good stuff, but it's all right. Blaine, quick change. Yeah, I think so. I uh, think so. Yeah, 1990. Quick change. Uh, Rock the Casbah. Yes, I know he did that one. Rock the Casbah. I remember that writing that one down. Uh, where is it, Brucey boy? Uh, Rock the Casbah. There it is, 2015. Just did it a couple years ago. Uh, let's see here. Mary Poppins, uh, Brittany Lockwood. Uh, he did a movie called The Fantastic Mr. Fox about the making of Mary Poppins. So he was in that movie. Matt Shanahan, Moonrise Kingdom. Moonrise Kingdom. Let's look for that title. Uh, let's see here. Moonrise Kingdom. Yeah, 2012. We got it. The Monuments Men, we have already. The Passion of Christ. No, uh, Brittany wasn't in that one. Uh, Tom Henry, The Grand Budapest Hotel, we have it. Uh, cool Jazz, Atlantis, Bahamas, he might have went to. Uh, okay, uh, he may have gone to, but I don't think uh, that's going to work. Sylvia, Space Jam, we have it. Brittany Lockwood, Rocky? No, he wasn't in Rocky. Uh, he's a lover, not a fighter. Um, 
Blaine, the a glimpse inside the mind of Charles Swan the third. A glimpse inside the mind of Charles Swan the third. I'm looking for that one. Um, where is it? Uh, there it is. There it is. 2012. A glimpse inside the mind of Charles uh, Charles Swan the third. Simi Bean, she's having a baby with Robin Williams. Matt Shanahan, Cradle Will Rock. Cradle Will Rock. Yes, I think he did do that movie. Um, yeah, 1999, 19 years ago. Um, Hamlet. Yes, he did Hamlet in 2000. Well done. Limits of Control. Tracy Dunlop, Limits of Control. Uh, let me look here for that title, Limits of Control. I'm not finding anything here. I'm sorry. I'm not. Oh, I, I am. I found it. Sorry. I skipped over it. 2009. Yeah. Uh, nine years ago. Limits of Control. Uh, Tracy Dunlop, Get Smart. We have it. Tom Henry, Wild Things. Yes. Wild Things is a definite, uh, correct answer in uh, 1998, 20 years ago. Uh, let's see here. Uh, does anyone remember where the Buffaloes roam? I don't remember it, but we've already had a guest. I'm running out of movies, Matt, saying. Uh, Vicky, a uh, Cradle Will Rock, we've got it. Blaine, Tootsie, we've got it. Brittany Lockwood, Romeo and Juliet, sorry. No other Shakespeare movies. Matt Shanahan, I remember that being. Um, Robert Brandt, Tom Henry, wow. Vicky, passion. Vicky has passion, guessing here. Passion, passion, passion. Uh, passion Play was the name of the movie. We already have it. Uh, help, no sound. Oh, my God, and it's going crazy. Steaming Bean liked that movie. Uh, Jim Thomas Stripes, we already have it. I'll tell you the guys, the, the movies you've guessed correct. You already have Meatballs. You have Where's Where the Buffaloes Roam. Where the Buffalo Roam. Uh, Caddyshack, Stripes, Tootsie, Ghostbusters, Nothing Lasts Forever. Little Shop of Horrors, <coughs> Scrooged, Ghostbusters number two, Quick Change. What about Bob? Groundhog Day, Mad Dog and Glory. Space Jam, Kingpin, Larger Than Life, Wild Things, Rushmore, Cradle Will Rock, Hamlet, Charlie's Angels. Um, coffee and cigarettes, Lost in Translation, Garfield, The Life Aquatic, Broken Flowers, Lost City, Garfield 2, A Tale of Two Kittens, Get Smart, Limits of Control, Fantastic Mr. Fox, Passion Play, Moonrise Kingdom, uh, A Glimpse Inside the Mind of Charles, whatever, The Monuments Men, The Grand Budapest Hotel, St. Vincent, Dumb and Dumber 2, T-O-O, Aloha, Rock the Casbah, The Jungle Book, and Ghostbusters are all correct. There are a, ten, a ton more. A ton more. Um, let's see here. With friends like these, I don't think so. Uh, let's see. With friends like these, is that was that a movie he did? Let me see. I, 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 could, do, I could, could have written it down here, forgotten it already. Friends like these, with friends like these, with friends like I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't, I don't see it. No. She's having a baby? No, nope, I don't think so. Uh, I'm lost. Uh, no. Uh, loose Shoes, yes. Loose Shoes, 1980. Uh, he did that movie. Small Feet, uh, no. Uh, no. No, no. Wait a minute. Small Feet, uh, no. 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 Uh, Ravage, Revenge of Chucky, uh, no. Sorry. Uh, wasn't he in the... Uh, in the something Jones or something, the uh, I wrote to, wasn't he in the some in the like something Jones or something? Uh, need more help there, Brittany? Best little her house in Texas? No, Saint Vincent. We've got Charlie's Angels too. Um, I'm guessing he would have been. Well, what would the name have been? Um, um, what would the second one have been called? Uh, I don't have it here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Hyde Park in the Hudson. Yes. Hyde Park in the Hudson, 2012. Uh, Jim Thomas, what was the uh, movie where he was in it? He was in the zombie. I actually, I wasn't a zombie. Is protecting to be a zombie. Then they actually killed him in the end. Yes, he was in that movie. The movie was called, um, let me find it here, Zombie Land. Yeah, he was in Zombie Land. I'm giving it to you, Jim. I'm giving it to you. Uh, let's see, Brittany, uh, E.T. No, Steamy Bean, love that zombie movie. Tracy, Get low or slow? I think so. Get low or slow? I'm looking for it now. Get low or slow? Where is there? It is 2009. There it is. Uh, Tracy Dunlop, Wild Things. We have this message held for review. Uh, 
<laughs> ah, Robert, can't print that. That's uh, no, can't do that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I can't print. Uh, cool jazz, life aquatic. We have it. Matt Shanahan, Osmosis Jones. Yes. Um, someone. Uh, uh, was it Matt? You were talking about uh, so, uh, yeah. There it is, Matt. You got it. Uh, Space Jams. We have it. Blaine, the man who knew too little. Yeah, that's a great movie. The man who knew too little. 1997, 21 years ago. Oh my God! Unbelievable. Dumber, dumber. Number one. He wasn't in that one. Space Jam. No, uh, we got already. Osmosis uh, Jones. We got Rushmore. Yeah, Rushmore. I think so. I think so. Uh, we already have a guest. It was done 20 years ago. Ed Wood. Tracy Dunlop was wondering about Ed Wood. Was he in the movie? Ed Wood. Yes. 1994, he did Ed Wood. Uh, Steamer, he could play Jim Zimmerlin. <laughs> uh, Blaine, speaking of sex, um, was he in that movie? I don't know. Uh, take a look here. Yeah. 2001, 17 years ago, he was in that movie. Broken Flowers, we have. Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle, no, no Jim. Seakeeper, uh, uh, St. Vincent, we have. Robert Brandt, Coffee and Something, we have it. Uh, coffee and uh, Cigarettes. Jim Thomas, thank you. Bruce, Bruce, I love that movie. Uh, Zombieland, yeah. Blaine, Royal Tenenbaums, I think so. Uh, the Royal Tenenbaums, 2001, 17 years ago with Gene Hackman. Unbelievable how long ago that was already. Incredible. Steam Bean, who would play Bruce in a movie? Uh, cool Jazz, City of Ember. City of Ember, not at 2008, 10 years ago. <clears throat> Blaine got it too. Sylvia, I'm going to have to cheat. I'd never heard of half of these movies. <laughs> Robert Brandt, with friends like these. Um, did we not already guess this one with friends like these? Um, let's take a peek. Uh, with friends like these. Um, look and look and look and um, I don't see it here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, a very merry Christmas again. I don't have it on my list. I know the feeling from Robert Brandt. Uh, Hyde Park and Hudson. We've got Dean Martin would play him. Bean. <laughs> Razor's Edge and Spies Like Us. He wasn't in Spies Like Us. Razor's Edge. Uh, I think he was in it. I'm just trying to find out if we've already done it. Razor's Edge. Uh, let's see here. Razor's Edge. Razor's Edge. Why am I not finding Razor's Edge? Come on, Bruce. Where is it? Where is it? Razor's Edge. Did he not do that movie? Am I am, am I missing something here? Just getting tired, maybe. Uh, let's see here. Uh-huh. All the way up here. Do, 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 do. I can't I can't find it. Sorry guys. Uh the Dar Darjeeling Limited. Yes. That one is definitely uh, I wrote that one down. Uh where did I there it is, 2007. The Darjeeling Limited. Uh wow. Aladdin? Nope, he wasn't in Aladdin. Razor's Edge was a drama, right? Uh next stop, Greenwich Village. Um, didn't see it. Uh Christmas movie was in 2015. Tracy Dunlap. Cradle Will Rock, we have said it. Bean, how about Bruce Willis? Uh, Brittany Lockwood, Rocky and Bullwinkle. No, Steamy Bean, Razor's Edge was uh, O Boat on the River, right? I don't know. Coffee and cigarettes, already guessed. Okay, here's what we got. Um, we need a movie from 1980. Uh, we need a movie from 84. The Razor's Edge, there it is. I found it. Oh, my goodness. It was right there the whole time. 1984, The Razor's Edge. Boy, can't believe that. Okay, I need a movie. Also from, let's see, we got a bunch done here. Holy moly, we're done well. We've done well, well, well. There's one left. I think there's only one left. 1980, there's one left. Uh, let's see if anyone grabs it. Uh, sticking with Anthony Hobson's, Ed Wood. I think Razor Edge was a dark comedy. Bakersfield, the movie, Laugh Out Loud, Glimpse Inside the Mind of Tokyo. I don't know. Um, there's one left. Um, just triple checking my, my sheet here. Wow, they're all... You've knocked them all off. Whether you've cheated or not, they've been knocked off. Glimpse inside the mind of, uh, I need one movie from 1980. Uh, it was his fourth movie, and we are done. Bruce Willis would have to play Bruce Willis in a movie. Bruce in a movie. Loose Shoes, we've got. Where are the Buffalo Rome, we've got. The answer is The Missing Link. Uh, that was from 1980. That was, his, uh, that was his fourth movie. All right, let me read off all the movies. Bill Murray has ever been in. All right, here we go. Uh, 1979 Meatballs. Mr. Mike's Mondo Video was 1979. By the way, you didn't get that one either, but I'm just, just noticing it. 
Where the Buffalo Roam was number three. Uh, the Missing Link was number four. 1980 Caddyshack. 1980 Loose Shoes. 81 Stripes. 1982 Tootsie. 1984 he did three movies. Ghostbusters, Nothing Lasts Forever, and The Razor's Edge. In 86, The Little Shop of Horrors. 88 he did Scrooge. 89 Ghostbusters 2. In 1990, Quick Change. 91, what about Bob? Uh, 93, Groundhog Day. 93, Mad Dog and Glory. 94, Ed Wood. 96, Space Jam. 96, Kingpin. 96, Larger Than Life. 97, The Man Who Knew Too Little. Great movie. Wild Things in 98. Rushmore in 98. 1999, Cradle Will Rock. In 2000, he did Hamlet. 2000, Charlie's Angels. In 01, speaking of sex, 01, Osmosis Jones. In 01, The Royal Tenenbaums. In 03, Coffee and Cigarettes. 03, Lost in Translation. Love that movie. 04, the first Garfield movie. 04, The Life Aquatic. 05, Broken Flowers. In 05, The Lost City. 06, the second Garfield movie, A Tale of Two Kitties. 07, The Darjeeling Limited. In 08, Get Smart. Then in 08, City of Ember. 09, The Limits of Control. In 09, Zombieland. 09, Get Low. In 09, Fantastic Mr. Fox. 2010, Passion Play. 2012, he did three. He did Moonrise Kingdom, Hyde Park on the Hudson, and A Glimpse Inside the Mind of Charles, whatever his name was. 2014, The Monuments Men and the Grand Budapest Hotel, St. Vincent, and Dumb and Dumber 2. In 2015, Aloha and Rock the Casbah. In 2016, The Jungle Book and Ghostbusters 2016. That's what I have on this list. And if I missed any, I apologize. But that's what I've got on this list. Isn't that something? Uh, the Missing Link, unbelievable. Uh, Steamy Bean, a movie based on the cruisers with YouTube channels. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> great comedian. Uh, Sylvia Bruce, have you watched half of these movies? I've watched a bunch of them. Uh, I'm really sorry I worked for a video store for 20 years. I never watched a movie, Wiki says. Matt Shanahan, I hope my uh, my Pats uh, sign Manziel if he produces in the CFL and give him get him under the goat get him under the goat Tom Brady for a year. <laughs> Matt, I don't think it's going to happen. Robert Brand, great show, Bruce Tracy Dunlop. That was hard. Didn't hear of a few of those. Uh, there were some there I hadn't heard of either. To be honest, I've watched a few, uh, quite a few of his movies, but not all of them. I can tell you that uh, these actors have such a body of work. It's incredible. Fifty-seven movies for this guy. Fantastic work. Thanks again for thumbs ups today. How are we doing? Uh, 12 thumbs ups. I'll take any more you guys can spare. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you for visiting my Amazon link. Thank you for going to my Patreon page. Thank you for going to the Redbubble store and picking up stuff today at 20% off. Thank you for Patreon contributions. Uh, Wes Morrison today, you did one to me today. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for Patreon contributions as well. And uh, thank you for just watching and uh, subscribing and following my uh, shows. Tomorrow, on the 29th of June, I'll be on at 5 o'clock in the evening. But today, uh, we are done. Um, we're having fun here. Uh, it was a lot of fun today. I enjoyed this. I hope you had a good time. Thanks for joining me tonight. This is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce saying thanks for coming by on June the 28th for primetime vi vi prime time trivia. We had some good times on this one. I wish you a pleasant evening. I will see you guys tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Uh, looking forward to having some more fun then. Take care, guys. We'll see you later. Bye for now.